Hello again and you're watching Trails of Eurasia TV and Zaur is here to show you a very unique place. Zira Eco Park and the cultural center is just right behind me where we're gonna have a full tour with the help of the local executive authorities here and we're gonna enjoy it, trust me. This park is the largest ecological park in the country. Everyone can come and enjoy all facilities in here. So I have to share with you what happened to me now. Um, I found someone here who works here and he's looking after birds, real birds, which were brought from all over the world and I'm going to show you which ones and you're going to be surprised. I mean, I personally have never seen such a beauty in my life, among birds I mean. So enjoy watching. Genubi Africa. Wow, so this is from South Africa. And over there you see the peacocks, right? And I found a black swan. Have a look at this beauty. So we got inside the uh, cultural center of Zira and here is the place where it was actually devoted and built by the Hidar Ali Foundation.
So today we were lucky to meet El Nur Bey, who is uh, executive chairman of this uh, place called Zira Cultural Center. Echo Park. And Echo Park, correct. So he's gonna take us around and show places. This is the carpet made of silk. I, I touched it and it's really, really, really super soft. Very amazing quality. And it displays the modern map of Azerbaijan Republic. Carpet in this room, which is from Tebris, south of Azerbaijan, and its age is 19 years old. So I was just told an interesting fact here. If you're really good at weaving carpet, you can come over here for free and they will show you how it's happening. And if you got that talent, you can really make sure that you, you have that you know, sense of making it right way. They will just hire you and pay you a salary. So you're gonna be a full-time employee of weaving carpets. To get this red color, color this piece of wool uh, actually the pomegranate is used for that so it remains natural and even after wash for many years after it's going to still remain red As you can see, this uh, piece of equipment, it's, it's coming really from the ancient time with the only difference. It used to be wooden and now it's a metal and it's all coming from the ancestors of Azerbaijani people. So this classroom is a dedicated classroom for learning foreign languages for kids from rural areas who are not able to uh, have an easy access to uh, schools, to places where they can learn English, Russian, and even there is a plan to uh, teach Spanish or Portuguese, so some Latino American ambassadors and the rest of the ambassadors of the, of the world who are coming over here. And now I'm in the room where all the types of animals and species were included into the Red Book and children are studying all this around about the plants and animals. 
and it was designed by the, the daughter of the President of Azerbaijan Republic, Leila Aliva. Look at this beauty. Very modern and unique environment. This chess classroom is basically one of the most advanced where whatever figure you're gonna pick up, it's gonna be displayed on the screen, not just in the local network, but an international event. And again, this place is for people, for children who has a not easy access from the rural areas of the country. And one interesting fact, about three kids who studied in this classroom got some prizes and an awards in the international championships of the chess. All right, and in that fashion classroom, is for many ladies who are having an access to uh, open up their talent and start weaving, sewing, different design clothes, which uh, then can be distributed to the people who have not really stable financial situation. Here is the art room, again for the same people who can display their talent and win some prize at the competitions. And it's all for free, you just can come over and show your talent, develop it, make it famous. library where you can come over with your parents and even a lot of ambassadors where we actually reside in uh, Baku they were all invited they visited this place in order to get that connection between different nations cultures and exchange the information like look at this device here it's a e-library it's got more than 7,000 books in here Let's go. Here is the photo studio where they create content for the media and for example regarding the recent events in Ganja, Barda and Tartar cities. where a lot of civilians were injured and harmed. But at the end, Azerbaijan is a winner and it really intends to live in peace with all its neighbors.
a place where the purpose is to create different events of the Muham and local authorities meetings as well as cinema. And thank you for watching Trails of Eurasia TV. Today our episode was about Zira Eco Park and the Cultural Center. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned with Trails of Eurasia TV, your best source of lifestyle experiences in travel, culinary, wellness, health and happiness. See you.